Finals will be subject to Australia's new security measures this weekend after the nation was put on a high terror alert for the first time. The government is raising the public alert level what? to high. Shot. But not alarm. The terror alert level's been raised to high. This could be an attack. What? We're all gonna die! Ah! Ah! What do we do? We're gonna die! Help! Help! Oh, Friends is probably on the other channel. No. Nah, definitely not. No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a major risk. I don't think so. I don't think anyone's worried at the moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be bombed or anything. I think it's a load of crap. The majority of the like fighting we do is overseas, so and the majority of it's peacekeeping anyway. But I think it's probably going to get worse if we keep putting ourselves out there like we're doing at the moment. With everything that's going on, we're more than likely going to have something. I think that Tony Abbott is trying to find reasons to spend taxpayers' money um, in unsustainable ways. We're kind of creating issues by creating enemies and labelling people as Islamic terrorists. By increasing the terrorism attack, he was therefore able to justify sending troops to the war. I don't think it's as big as uh, what they're saying it is at the moment. Very over the top for like, what's happening. <laughs> is it at high? Um, I don't know, well if, they, if it is at high. They've probably got good reason to. No, definitely not. At this current state, yes. I don't really think it's necessary. Definitely. I think they haven't really told us why exactly it is, and I think if you know exactly why, then perhaps. Unless they're not telling us something. But we don't know why. I think, I think it can be justified if they explain it, but since they're not explaining it, it shouldn't be justified. As like Tony Abbott said, it doesn't really affect the everyday person. I think it's a scare tactic to try and get people to di divert their attention away from more pressing political issues at home. It doesn't really phase me, I guess.